Welcome back to another Leaf Blower Revolution guide. In this guide, we'll be talking about how to get every single unique leaf and also maximizing the bonuses that you get from your unique leaves. Now let's start on how to maximize our bonuses on our unique leaves. So let's go to our gem shop and let's get the better unique leaves upgrade, which increases our leaf bonuses by 30%. The next area that we need to go to is the scrolls. And we need to scroll all the way down and use the unique leaf scroll, which gives an additional 20% bonus for a total of 50% increase uh, unique leaf bonuses. Let's head down to the unique leaves area. And we need to make sure that all our leaves, unique leaves, are level 10 at least to get that extra bonus for each leaf, including damage, which is nice. So let's go through how to get every single unique leaf, as well as the bonuses that it gives. I'm going to be going through the top all the way down to the bottom, just to keep it nice and easy. So let's start with the alchemy leaf. The alchemy leaf decreases brew crit time, sorry, brew alchemy time by 2.5%, and increases brew crit chance by 2.5%. To get the alchemy leaf, you need to use the shovel while on the moon while having 10 E30 moonstone leaves. The next one is the bone leaf, which increases enemy rewards by 400%. And you need to use the ace of spades in the volcano while having 100 million lava leaves. To get the borb leaf, which increases borbs by 500%, you need to equip Borbo the pet, go to the neighbor's garden, and have 10,000 borbs to get the borb leaf. To get the crystal leaf, which adds five daily gems to your daily reward, you need to use your hands, the neighbor's garden, while having one C plasma, sorry, platinum leaves. To get the electrical energy leaf, which increases electrical energy charge per second in percentage by 50% and max storage by 100. To get this unique leaf, we need to be in a spark range while using a nuclear drought while having one E3 or 1000 electrical energy. To get the equipment leaf, we need to, which increases our claw equipment count by 10 and equipment collect, collected by 2, we need to use the airplane turbine in the leaf tower at floor 321. To get the fire leaf, which increases LB enemy damage by 800%. And we need to use the laser tool in the void while having one C void leaves. To get the ghost leaf, which increases our BLC value by 500%, we need to use the blowfish tool in space while having one D cosmic leaves. To get the glitter leaf, which increases our combo reward or combo by 300%, which we need to use a rake in the mountain while having 1D bismuth leaves. To get the heart leaf, which increases all fruit rewards by 1000%, you need to use the leaf blower in the garden while having 100E gold leaves. To get the holy leaf, which increases our art uh, which you need the Holy Grail, which increases our silver and gold token rewards by 250%. And you need to use the Carpenter's Cup in the Leaf Tower floor, 42, while having 1k silver tokens and 42 tokens. This leaf also unlocks the Holy Grail. The Leaf Sension Leaf. This Leaf Sension Leaf increases and de decreases the Leaf Sension duration by 5% and decreases the leaf sentient input cost by 3%. And you need to go to the Exalted Bridge while Sneko is active and also using the high-tech Ace of Spades. To get the Material Leaf, which gets random materials by 0.02 a second and material spawn chance by 1%. You need to have the Nuclear Shovel in Kokuapuku while Dako is active. To get the nuclear leaf and the bonuses that it gives, which increases nuclear uh, blow power by 500% and enemy damage by 50%. You have to use the nuclear 
leaf blower and leaf sink harbor while having 100,000 bentonite leaves. To get the pet leaf, we need to use the large trout in the abandoned research station while having 1e4 sacred leaves, and the pet leaf increases our upgrades our multiplier of pets by 20%. To get the rainbow leaf, we need to use the rocket engine at the celestial plane while having 100 100k celestial leaves and increases our seed rewards by 50%. The relic leaves, uh, the relic unique leaf gives relic damage multiplier by 200%, relic enemy drop chance by 1%, and to get it, we need to use any tool in the ancient sanction while having 1e5 sacred leaves while Dero is active. The robot leaf which increases our printer output by 5,000%. 5, 5, and we need to use the graphics card in the abyss while having 1M exotic leaves. The shard leaf, which gives a enemy shard multiplier of 25%. And to get it, we need to use the high tech trout in the biotite forest while having 5E3 shards. The tool leaf, which gives additional merge rage of five, additional merge leaves by one, and increases blow range by 20%. To get the tool leaf, we need to use the large rake, leaf rake in the volcano while Flocko is active. To get the unique, unique leaf, we need to use the large trout in the inferno desert while having one E9 sand leaves. Now, this unique, unique leaf gives 25% increased unique leaf bonus. The water leaf, which increases global trade multiplier by 100%, decreases trade refresh cooldown by 15%, and trade delivery time by 10%. To get this leaf, you need to use a fan in the hidden sea while having 1m or 1 million obsidian leaves. To get the wood leaf and our final unique leaf on this list, we need to get the high-tech shovel in the dark glade while having one e4 beer which increases the base spawn rate of materials by one percent that is every single unique leaf covered and how to get and the bonus that it gives if you have any questions please leave a comment down below and make sure you like and subscribe as well i'll catch you on the next one